Okay guys and welcome back and today we're going to be talking about how to measure your body fat so I'm going to give you the four methods I use I'm going to show you how I use them and then I'll give you a bonus method at the end so make sure you stick around so first things first let's get into what you're going to need and you're going to need a pen and paper a tape measure a skin fold caliper and a working knowledge of your actual height or a tape measure or a measuring tape to measure it. So the first method we're going to talk about is the Kino body method. I'm going to throw up the charts as I speak so you can compare yourself to it as you learn what you need to do for it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your height, so you're going to measure your height if you don't know it already, and then you're going to measure your waist circumference, and you're going to take, you're going to divide your waist by your height to gain a percentage of your height. So if you get a readout of 0.4, you'll take that as 47% of your height. You'll then compare that to the chart you're using if you're a beginner or intermediate, so someone with less training experience and less muscle mass actually gained, you'll be comparing yourself to the beginners and intermediates. And if you're an advanced lifter with a lot of training experience and a lot of muscle mass accumulated throughout that training experience, you'll compare yourself to the advanced chart. With the advanced chart, you'll be allowed a little bit more in terms of waist width, but that's just due to your increased training age and your increased muscle mass development but it'll basically give you a readout between two percentage points so it'll either be eight to ten percent twelve to fourteen or over fifteen percent which will be the problem with this method is once you get past that point there's nothing to compare it to so we'll jump into number two which will give you a more accurate readout so the second method we're going to go over is the u.s navy method so you're going to need to know your height, your waist, your neck circumference at its narrowest point and your overall body weight. So what you're going to do, you're going to plug this into the online calculator I'll link down below. It will then give you a readout to a whole one whole number. So if you're 12 and a half with say another measure, it will give you a readout of either 12% or 13%. It will then give you a readout of your fat mass, your muscle mass and what category you fit into in terms of your body fat percentage we're going to jump into method three now which will be where you have to start using a skin fold caliper so this the third method we're going to talk about is the Dernin method for this you're going to need to know your weight and your age as well as the measurements at four specific skin fold sites so you measure the skin folds with the calipers at the four sites it states you're then going to plug this into the online calculator I'm going to link down below for this. It will then give you a readout of your body fat percentage to two decibel numbers, I believe. So if you're 12 or 13 on, say, the US Navy percent, uh, percentage calculator, you will then be given, say, 12 and a half on a Dernin method calculator just because it allows that decimal point. So you may not actually be truly just 12 or truly 13. You may actually fall in between. And this is where this method comes in and is a little bit more handy. Let's get into method four. So the fourth and last method I'll use on a regular basis is the parallel method. Again, you need to use your skin fold calipers, but this time you're gonna take your skin folds measurement at nine different sites. You'll plug this into the online calculator. It will then give you a readout of your body fat percentage to two decimal points. I like this one for a more comprehensive, so a great analysis, analysis of my body fat percentage because it just takes the measurements at m uh, multiple different sites throughout the body, not just the upper body in general. Anyways, guys, so when I've got these results, I'll take them all together. So the Kino body, uh, body fat uh, percentage calculator the US Navy calculation result, the Dernin method result, and the parallel method result. Add them all together and divide them by four to get the average. And this will be what my body fat will be because it's an average of the four I actually like to use. Generally, because I find them a little bit more accurate than some of the other ones out there. Obviously, I don't have a DEXA, which will be the golden standard. So these will be what I use. The fifth and final, final method, the bonus method I'm going to talk to you about will be the visual chart method. This is where you 
find a visual chart that will show you a range of physiques and the body fat percentage correlated with it. So it'll be within a 2% generally, maybe 3% bracket range. And you'll then just do what I do, which will be look at the chart, look at your physique, compare it, and then look back at the chart if you need to, to compare it further. And then it'll give you an idea of where your body fat percentage is. I only use this whilst cutting because once you get past 13% in that 13 to 17% range it's a little bit harder to tell how much fat you're truly putting on because it's a lot harder to, to see where it's going so you may think you're only putting on a very little amount as you see the scale jumping up a lot but it probably is a lot more fat than you actually think you're putting on anyways guys i hope that helped if it did leave the video a like don't forget to leave me a comment down below comment anything you want to see in a future video and don't forget to share this with your friends and family to help them out as well and make sure for more content like this and a weekly gym video to subscribe and ring the bell so YouTube notifies you when I next upload. And most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day and take care. So take me to Neverland.